Hi, this is Kevin Tharp. This video is going to focus on a couple of tools that are available in the advanced tools um, mode. So if you're in beginner's mode, you'll have to go down to this lower palette, click advanced mode, get the advanced tools palette in front of you. And what I want to do, we're going to look at the snip and the join tools today, but I also want to look at uh, a tool of this straight edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with a color here. I guess we'll go there. And um, using the straight edge tool, there is the, the capability of creating what they call a perfect circle. And what that requires you to do is to, first off, you have to be in the straight edge mode. So you can't draw curved lines. But within this straight edge, if you go out and you do a 360 degree circle and you come back to the exact center and you have to get that exactly right, you've got to bring the point back to exactly where you started, it'll create this perfect sphere. Uh, or not sphere, circle. It'll create this perfect circle. Excellent tool. Uh, that's one of those kind of hidden tips that is hard to find any information about. But when we have created that, and I'll turn off the straight edge, uh, I'm going to go to the select tool so that you can see. When I click on this, this is one single stroke. Um, I treat it as one stroke. It functions as one stroke. But, and this brings us to the tools that we're focusing on today, what this snip tool does is it allows you to clip or snip, as the tool's name is, this stroke so that it is multiple strokes. So you'll notice that I snipped there. Uh, when I come to my selection tool, I can select that part of the stroke, which is now its own stroke, or I can select that stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate this into four strokes. And you'll see that now I can uh, work with them individually or in groups uh, to, to manipulate in whatever way I want. That simply wasn't possible before. So I'm going to uh, have new flexibility that I didn't have before. So I can't tell you how many times I've done a design and found that there was a little part of an entire stroke that was sticking out that I wanted to get rid of and then there was no way to do it before. So now this snipping stroke allows you to do that. And that how important that is will make more sense later on. The other part of that is the join tool. So I can come in and I can join together these strokes so that now when I select it, it's one tool. Now it's not the exact same stroke because when you separated it, it applied um, the rules of that brush to that. So it doesn't come back to being exactly the same. You'll see that gap there, but it does allow you to join strokes uh, that were previously um, not join and that is a very cool tool to be able to use and that's all we're going to focus on in this drawing or this video today.